Maker. I would make things, but all of making seems wrong, and so I'll write my troubles in the trade of song. Smithery at its best is high craft, utile, tensile, daring, lasting. You are not mine to miss, since I put away all making for the vapor trailing of poetry. And the air staining of partaking in the mystery of song. I know I am wrong, and I should be fasting, becoming a priest, temporary or everlasting, in the line of Melchizedek, or at very least a voice crying in the wilderness like Saint Jean Baptiste. Or maybe Jeremiah lying on his side, prophesying and decrying to a recalcitrant tribe. But I, I have no such calling. And you'll find it appalling that the only words I have are my own, except for those I've cloned from masters of the form. Surely, some of it's organic, and some is GMO. The world I see is heavy with stuff, things created and used and shaken like dandruff into pile after pile after pile of junk that fills the earth like the cream in a puff, like a shameless turducken. We never seem to learn well that enough is enough. The seas are rising in an effort to slough off the ants who crowd the shores. Man, the maker, an undertaker of a planet once adored. And what can I bring to this place? A new kind of bowl, a new kind of plate. Believe me, I've done the designs, but there are enough bowls out there to hold the rind. The world can live without my cleverness. I decline to add mine to the hoard or the cupboard. I'm here to do the things that I can't die without trying. One of the thousand things I really can't do, but sort of do. So I fill stanzas like cannoli and powder them for you. But it's all making and the burning of hours, shambling down to the darkling embers of life. I cracked a curse today. I cracked a tooth today. The whole edifice is decaying, and I still haven't cut my ribbon. Here are my veins. This is my rhythm. Plop, plop, plop. I'll purge till I drop, but I have to prime myself, take the serum off the shelf, pour it down the hatch, and after a little coughing <laughs> natch, I'm off again, spilling truths I've made up for today. And it's only one lie at a time, bewitching fictions of having lived a life. I'm pumping as fast as I can to draw fresh water from my own well and digging out channels for it to flow to the parched and waiting fields to nourish and grow a fair crop in time. An almost weightless harvest of computer code. Unless I print it. Unless it's sold. Horrors! 
paper and cardboard and ink and stamps, electricity for the presses, gas for the vans. It's an ecological nightmare. Better to keep silent. Perish. Don't publish. Keep my thoughts to myself. Living in the material world, you take up space on a shelf. You have to wreck the place at least a little bit. I'm not cut out for it. Can I do something else? Might as well go back to carving stone. But I'm just learning. This bird has flown. I'm not very good at it, of course. But floating those notes is heavenly. And again, there's less remorse because the only pollution is noise and bad breath. <laughs> Wait till you see how I stink after my death. Buddha, help me get out of this mess. Let me sit for a while till all feelings pass. I'll just sit here like a bag of trash, holy and ordinary, taking up space, a maker of wastes, waiting for redemption or my final collection. I hope I get my deposit back. Buy a t-shirt! I'm not selling them! You know, with a thousand instruments all going at you, you don't know where it ends. Amen.